It's time to dish in the Wind Dixie kitchen, and today we're doing something a little bit different. We're not really dishing, we're gonna do a little bit of drinking. This weekend starts college football, and about a week and a half, NFL football starts. So I'd like to welcome right now, Michael Doyle from St. Augustine Distillery, and we're talking about cocktails because there's been a little bit of a shift with tailgating parties. Welcome River City Live. Uh, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me, Mark. Uh, yes, there has been a shift. Um, recently, as of 2016, cocktails and liquor itself has outsold beer in the United States. And that's amazing, because you think of it as almost like a stereotype. You're gonna have some brews and watch the game, but it shifted altogether. Right, yeah, so with that, I mean, obviously the cocktails, or the tailgating is gonna shift as well. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna make a cocktail with the St. Augustine bourbon right down the road from us. And one thing that's nice with St. Augustine Distillery and all your products, you could get at the Winn-Dixie liquor stores, making it convenient. Also, go and take a tour if you ever get a chance to do it because it is so cool. It's eye-opening yeah. to see how all everything's made right there. It's fantastic, yeah. And it's actually the number one attraction in St. Augustine. I did not know that. Yeah. All right, so what are the drinks that we have lined up today? All right, so today I'm gonna make a bourbon, bourbon cocktail. I'm gonna start with uh, some freshly juice, orange juice. We're gonna do about... And oranges are five for five. Winn-Dixie, if you have any game day essential, you go there, they got you covered. Yeah. Next, we're gonna do some agave syrup to kind of sweeten it up. I love it. And what was this called again? This is called the Autumn Wind. Autumn this is actually Wind. one of my, it's named after a song from NFL Films, The Autumn Wind is a Raider. Um, you hear it all over in the commercials. <laughs> and what are we putting in right now? This is the St. Augustine bourbon. There you go. Oh, it smells really good. Yeah. And is this kind of a fall drink as well, would you Absolutely, say? Yeah. yeah. Most, most bourbon cocktails, you know, you think of bourbon, you think a nice fall or winter kind of uh Because it kind of has flavor. like that warm, like kind of coating to it, if you will. Right. And then, of course, you know, to kind of man it up, put some jalapenos in there. Love it. I'd say about two slices per cocktail. Now, do you have to deseed them or no? Just leave it, the seeds no. in there? Okay. No. Is that what gives it the spice? I've heard right, that. Yeah. It's always the seeds. Exactly. That's what gives it that heat. <laughs> so give it just a quick muddle. All right. Then, and then what else do you do? Put the ice in there, and then we shake it up, and then we're good to go. Yep. You know, also, when you think of tailgating, you think of food, right? Well, Winn-Dixie, that they have right now, it's a four-count tailgate sandwiches for $5. So, again, they got you covered, because, again, hand-in-hand, hand, food, tailgating. The right. drinks are going to be there, but you got to be prepared with the food. You want to shake with me? Yeah, absolutely. All right, so... You just give it hell. You take it like that. Just about eight seconds. Okay. Ready? Okay. Oh, so you're down here. Some people do over the shoulder. You get really crazy. You get very creative. Sometimes I do the twirl. Why not? All right. We just want to get all those, that jalapeno. And then what's the thing? You hit it a little bit? Yeah, you That's hit it. it. Hey, you're getting there. <laughs> he got it. <laughs> there we go. And then uh, what, what should we pour it in? We're going to pour it into these glasses right here. So you already want to have ice in there. There you go. All right. Again, you can just pour this with a Boston shaker at home. You don't need this tin on tin. But it looks nice, so if you have it, I say you use yeah. it. So now for the final touch, just because, you know, we don't want to steer too far away from the traditions, we're going to top it with a nice local IPA. Interesting. Yeah. So what does that do as far as the flavor is concerned? Uh, well, it gives it, it gives it balance. It kind of dries the cocktail out because it's sweet because of the agave and the orange juice. You want to kind of give it a nice balance to it. All right, and then you put a little garnish on there. Oh, look at that, you're gonna recycle the jalapeno. Nice little touch on there. Nice little crazy straw. Let's do a little cheers to this and try that. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. That is really good. That is really good. Do you have any other type of cocktails that you recommend for game day? Uh, yeah, there's a slew of them. Uh, another one that I created, you can also do in a, uh, a punch bowl or a nice little gallon jar. This is actually my girlfriend's. So I told her I wouldn't break it. Hi, Ellie. <laughs> well, this is smart, too, because you think about game day, right? You have a whole bunch of people over. You want this type of serving where people can go up and help themselves. Exactly, yeah. You don't want to, if, if you don't feel like making cocktails for your, you know, over and over and over again, this right here will suffice pretty well. And then another thing that Winn-Dixie has, again, we always have to go back to food, Doritos loaded frozen appetizers, two for 10. And again, they're frozen, so they're gonna be easy to prepare and everybody's gonna be happy with that. Yep. And then, so with this, you just have this laid out there and then everybody could go and help themselves, right? Yep. So it's just super simple. Are any predictions of the Jags coming up this year? 
Um, hey, since we're talking about football? You know, Jags will is my second team. Of course, I am from Buffalo. Bills Mafia 716. <laughs> uh, but yeah, hopefully, they, hopefully I, they both end their futility because they're both on the bottom right now. Here we go. So for more information, go to Winn-Dixie.com or go to your neighborhood Winn-Dixie. Don't forget to pick up Flavor Magazine. And while you're at Winn-Dixie, don't forget to enter the Kick for Cash contest for a chance to win from over $250,000 in cash and prizes. Again, winndixie.com. Go there. They got you covered. You're always winning with Win Dixie. Thanks again. Should we have another sip? Absolutely. <laughs> Stick around. More to come right after this.